People have been lying to themselves, trying to stay positive, but the time on Earth is plentiful, not wishing to face the obvious truth about the demons on the Earth, the Nephilim, the fallen angels' involvement in the shaping of our whole history, and that this is the latter days, the beginning of the Great Tribulation. For there is nothing new under the sun, thus saith the Lord. History has been tampered with since the beginning of time and since the actions performed by the dark brotherhood of the snake way in the distant past in the Sumerian times is when it was born thus the stories of the brothers of the darkness versus the brothers of light began especially with native tribes easily influenced civilizations with no orderly organization set for governmental organizations and policies such tribes being the Incan, all men, Mayans, Aztecs and American Indians being just a portion of such civilization, civilizations. We must remember that certain infiltrations of what the God and the only Almighty God, Yahweh, through the Word being truly and only Christ, Jesus, Yahshua, the Savior and Messiah, Master and King to all creation, and the sons of Yahweh being, being the myriads and many facets of angels, from the ranking of greatest to smallest, being several. Such examples would be archangels, Seraphims, Cherubims, Olaphims, Elohims, and then again, we also have the servants too, who are also considered the lesser servants, or the lesser gods by Sumerian accounts. They would be called the Gigi, also the Greys. They would be made by the fallen angels, who are involved with the sin described on earth. Those who would be influenced by the true Satans, for there are more than a few, five in total. For let me assert to you, with a hundred percent of surety through Christ and Yahweh, what I will display and explain to you not only proves that our history has been severely altered and explained to modern man falsely and wrongly for centuries and centuries, that it was done purposely to confuse and control the masses of the whole earth in order to infect the general populace with ancient Sumerian Babylonian Egyptian concepts under ancient precepts and foundations formed into myths. After the fallen angels were first condemned for seventy generations, which is described in great detail in the beginning of the Book of Enoch, I must stress greatly, and I mean stress, to read only the Book of Enoch, first found of Ethiopic origin, its original translation only, for here is an example of the Illuminati attempts which means enlightened or illuminated one, or new world or trickery, which is not new by any standards, where it came from ancient times, when the secrets of Enoch, which is apocryphal, written between 300 BC and 300 AD by reported world scholars. This is part of other books of Enoch, 360 in total, in which only a few have been publicly exposed, and it was alterings and added prayers from the early A.D. period, proving it not to be written by any close relative of Enoch or Noah. So we see that we must remember that there were several responsible for misleading mankind. Yet it was Azazel, whom all sin was ascribed to by the God Yahweh and by the Sumerian accounts by Anu, who was above all of the Anunnaki, who nobody ever seen, though, and was considered God of all the Anunnaki. It's possible he is Yahweh, and since nobody ever seen, or they didn't even try to re, uh, uphold him or exalt him on earth that much, uh, showing you to them that they were even trying to disprove Anu at the time. So that's a very good possibility. And we see that uh, one such as uh, involved on the earth, such as Azazel and Samyaza, uh, that the ones that were 70 generations condemned to the earth, that there were chiefs over them. There were five others, those being Neku, Gadel, and uh, Kasabel, Panamu, and Kasabe. That's five in total. Neku, Gadel, Kasabel, Panamu, and Kasabe. Kasabe, it was, who disclosed abortion. And also disclosed the stroke of the spirit by the bite of the serpent, which is in strong form of demon possession, actually. First, we must start and remember certain ones who tampered with scripture to throw off society and events, such as Constantine and King James, 
whom it was proven to pay scribes to alter and leave out much scripture, and add some false scripture altogether by making just a few changes. Prime example is the original book of Adam and Eve, again found in Ethiopia as the rawest translation, and uh, the first book about the Garden of Eden and mankind. Uh, for example, in the Bible we are used to, in modern day, it has Cain as the vegetable uh, grower, and Abel as the sheep uh, herder or shepherd. As Cain as the cultivator, and uh, Abel as the sheep herder. Yet the original book of Adam and Eve, which is spiritual, the inspired words of Yahweh, say that it is opposite of that. That Abel, who was favored by God for his own humbleness, uh, was the vegetable grower. And he was he favored for his offering of vegetables. And he was pleased with him. Not Cain, because Cain was the sheep herder, apparently. To that, uh, I did, to that version, which is much rawer and older than any other version. This changes the whole Old Testament and most scripture altogether and explains even more why Christ had to sacrifice himself to save mankind and stop our stop us and our ridiculous sacrifices. And it explains why Jewish law was commanded to change to no animal sacrifices altogether. Do you see how this changes things? So we read a quick thing from a book written by Zachariah Sitchin, actually, but he has partly a uh, I'm going to use this against him. Has text in here uh, that enforces some of what I'm saying that these Anunnaki were false gods. And even Emma, who was good compared to the rest of them, was in much trouble, is possibly the angel Michael. Uh, and, and even though he ruled over Enki, even, and uh, was next down from Anu, and we will show that he's not even God. Okay? That he's not God at all. Enlil, whose command is far-reaching, whose word is lofty and holy, whose pronouncement is unchangeable, whose decrees destinies into the distant future. The gods of earth bow down willingly before him, the heavenly gods who are on earth. So therefore he's not God, because they're on earth, the ones that he's not up here, just the ones on earth, not above. The heavenly gods who are on earth humble themselves before him. They stand by faithfully according to instructions. Now I will read to you from the book of Enoch. We will start with this. In those days, the kings who possess the earth shall be punished by the angels of his wrath. Whosoever they, wheresoever they shall be delivered up, that he may give rest for a short period, and that they may fall down and worship before the Lord of Spirits, confessing their sins before him. And uh, it talks later about all the dark secrets being their downfall. Deep secrets of everybody's trying to find. We will go to the next part of where Enoch and uh, Noah have a discussion about this time. Afterwards, my great grandfather Enoch sees me with his hand, raising me up and saying to me, Go, for I have asked the Lord of Spirits respecting his perturbation on the earth. He replied, On account of their impiety, have their innumerable charges been con consummated before me? Respecting the moons, have they inquired? And they have known that the earth will perish with those who dwell upon it, and that to these there will be no place of refuge forever. You can think of that and probably put that to the, the four moons being coming close this spring, actually. And there's something to that if you go check around. They have discovered secrets, and they are those who have been judged. But not by you, my son. The Lord of Spirits knows that you are pure and good, free from the reproach of discovering secrets. Now I'm going to read to you about the chief angels that I was talking to you about. After this, the severe judgment, they shall be astonished and irritated, for it shall be exhibited to the inhabitants of the earth. And we get to the part of there being five Lucifer's actually free to roam about, and being chiefs over angels of the earth, such as Azazel. Behold the names of those angels. This is verse 2, chapter 68, the spread, verse 1. These are their names. The first of them is Samyaza, the second Artis Kappa. The third, Armin. The fourth, Kakabel. The fifth, Terrell. The sixth, Ramiel. The seventh, Danya. The eighth, Kaya. The ninth, Barakiel. The tenth, Azazel. The eleventh, Sempus Pizel. The seventeenth, Yedarel. The eighteenth, Tumel. The nineteenth, Terrell. The twentieth, Rumel. The twenty-first, Azazel. And then we go to the part that is probably most concerning. Okay. 
have uh, we get to after this we just said as these are these are the chiefs this is verse 30 these are the chiefs of their angels and the names of their leaders of their hundreds and the leaders of their fifties and the leaders of their tens chapter 68 verse 4 the name of the first is Yaku. he it was who seduced all the sons of the holy angels and causing them to descend on earth let astray the offspring of men the name of the second is Kesabel who pointed out the evil counsel to the sons of the holy angels and induced them to corrupt their bodies by generating mankind. The name of the third is Godriel. He discovered every stroke of death to the children of men as a boy. It's being done again in these times, such as the days of Noah, so it will be again. He, Godriel, discovered every stroke of death to the children of men. Uh, actually, that's not a boy, right? the next angel, I'm sorry, I'm confused with that. He, God rail, he seduced Eve and discovered to the children of men the instruments of death, the coat of mail, the shield, and the sword for slaughter, every instrument of death to the children of men. Verse 8, from his hand were these things derived to them who dwell upon earth, from that period forever. Ninth, the name of the fourth is Penamu. He discovered to the children of men bitterness and sweetness, and pointed out to them every secret of their wisdom. He taught men to understand writing and the use of ink and paper. It was said that Enoch had been. Therefore, numerous have been those who have gone astray from every period of the world, even to this day. For men were not born for this, thus with pen and with ink to confirm their faith. Even though Enoch was allowed to by God, he was especially appointed if you read the scripture. We'll even talk about and verse 14, since they were not created except that, like the angels, that they might retain righteous and pure. 15, nor would death, which destroys everything, have affected them. 16, but by this their knowledge they perish, and by this also in power consumes them. The name of the fifth is Kasyabe. He discovered to the children of men every wicked stroke of spirits and of the demons. 18, the stroke of the embryo and the womb to diminish it, the stroke of the spirit by the bite of the serpent, and the stroke which is given in the midday by the offspring of the serpent, the name which is Tibet, is drunk to diminish. That's important. That's the abortion part that I wanted to tell you about. But it's made clear that Godwell was the first, or the only, I mean, not the first, I mean, not the only, but uh, was one of the five. But Godwell was the one that seduced Eve. So that shows us that there are several that are still free to roam about. There's several Lucifer's. And again, we still have the angels that are in the earth, bound to the earth, who are supposed to come out towards these times of the great tribulation. And there will be great wars and great deception. And over all the cities and the great habit that it, that she got a little taste of there uh, in some pictures. Uh, that's just, a, just not even a tip. Remember people, Jesus Christ is the only way. He's the only word. That's how you find the truth. No paper on the earth, because it will be corrupted. So turn to him, the Yahshua, Jesus Christ, who is the victim.